Okay, so I think with plastic, you know, there's a lot of people talking about, you know, uh, stopping plastic or recycling plastic. And I think the real question is, are we not smart enough to make products that can do everything plastic does without harming the environment? Um, I know hemp uh, can be used for many, many things to even building a house. And the idea that we are not intelligent enough or we don't have intelligent enough people to create a material that's as versatile as plastic that uh, doesn't pollute the environment. And I think the reason we use plastic is because plastic is made from oil. And the individuals that own oil make a lot of money off plastic. And so that's why it's much preferable to recycle it so that we can keep using it. People argue about plastic straws. And uh, to me, that's not the real issue. The issue is why is it being propagated a material when we are more than smart enough and there's evidence of technologies to do with materials that don't pollute the planet. It's because the oil companies make trillions of dollars off every bit of plastic that's used. This is the real issue. The first car that ever ran, the Ford car ran on peanut oil. But the problem with peanut oil is that, I mean, many countries can grow peanuts, but you can't all access oil. And if you want to control the planet, if you look at people like Rockefeller, the guys who were behind the original oil fields, if you look at how they had a huge influence, and one would say, I control a major part of the planet, it's been through oil because it's scarce, it's harder to access. You can control people and you can control economies and all of these different things. And so, you know, to use uh, plastic, which comes from those same oil companies, it's, so I think the question is not, you know, stop using plastic, is why do we not know about technologies that can do exactly what plastic does? Why are they not in front of us? I mean, we could go back to oil. We got the peanut oil. I've seen proof of engines that run on water. Nikola Tesla did a public demonstration of a battery, and I think it was the 1930s, which when you went from place A to B, it had more energy than when it started. It's called Tesla wave or scalar wave technology, which has been buried from the public eye, you know? And this is, everyone talks about free energy as if, as if it's some kind of wild idea. If you actually do some reading, you'll find these are real things. And it's an example that the world doesn't need to be the way it is. We don't need to be using, and people are talking about electric cars. I mean, can you beat a guy in the 30s? That actually, this is, this is a factual thing. He actually had a car that, it's using scalar wave technology. And the science on this has been manipulated, but I don't want to get into this but he proved publicly a vehicle that had more energy at the end than when it began. And we still got batteries that run out of charge and, you know, because how do you control the world if people have free energy? You know, and it, it's all related. And back to plastic, I don't like to talk about plastic because the plastic's not the issue. The issue is why are the alternatives put in front of us? It's because those that control the countries, they prefer us to argue about things that are not the real issue. That's their job, to make us get angry about things that don't really change things. That said, I do think it's important that in the interim, we have good recycling programs. Uh, even with that, there's problems because there's many types of plastics that can't be recycled. But ultimately, the big question is, why on earth are we using plastic as if it's the only thing that we could possibly create? Because it's controlled by the oil companies and they make trillions of dollars off it. They don't care. If they cared about pollution, why would they be using petrol in all the cars? Why do the governments allow these technologies? You know? So that's kind of my thought on plastic. And I, I try to avoid it because most people don't really ask the right questions about plastic, about oil, about Rock Rockefeller, about Tesla, about all the things that pollute this world and how the world should have been so different if it weren't for particularly powerful people. People who actually made their money on that very oil that could have been peanut oil. In the 80s, it could have been water. In the 30s, it could have been scalar wave technology. So that's my view on plastic.